What is going on here? Let's watch the video. Oh, this is a sand crawler down at the bottom? Yeah, that's the or sand like crawler a, for a, mine, a mining thing? Yeah. Lifting ship. Oh, these balloons. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh. Yeah, so they have these balloons, these balloons expand, mm -hmm. they blow up, and then they displace all the air. This is buoyancy to lift. Mm -hmm. We fucking called it. We called this months yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah. We talked about how buoyancy could be used to supplement lift. Yeah. And in this case, it looks like it's solely the source of lift. Yeah, imagine uh, if this thing had thrusters pointing straight down. That would do nothing, right? Because you'd have right. a force up and then a force down, and this yeah. thing would just not lift at all. So, in fact, buoyancy is kind of the only way this is going to work. That's right. And you're not allowed to put engines out to the side because you're not. You're not. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Also, I'm looking at the volumes of these air sacs. Yep. And if I'm a, so assume that those air sacs are filled with vacuum. Okay, but impossible because okay. it's they're not rigid. But say say they were. I'm not sure it's displacing enough air to lift this heavy metal thing up. Yeah. At all. I'm not seeing the volumes required 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 Unless the atmosphere is like super dense here. So I guess what is buoyancy force? It's it's the force that pushes up and it's mm -hmm. proportional to the density of the liquid that's being displaced times the volume of the of the thing. Yeah, I think it's like exactly it's density of the volume. That's right. Density of the fluid being displaced times volume. Oh, so it's exactly proportional. Okay, I'm good. I'm yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, and so and so here. But I mean, there's no fudge factor we can work with. <laughs> oh, I see. There's no yeah. like multiplicative. Okay, it's exactly yeah. okay. Okay, so so here we're displacing gas, which is yeah. not going to be very dense. So that's a very mm -hmm. small number. Um, yeah, I really don't see how this could work. Um, we're lifting something metal. That looks and really displacing heavy. gas. Not enough. Right. So I would think the balloon would need to be absolutely huge. Yeah, I agree. And even if, say, the atmosphere is 10 times as dense as on Earth, okay, I still, still think it's insufficient. I think it's inefficient, insufficient. Because look how heavy that metal is. Yeah, no chance. But, and, um, yeah, no chance. And there's no, it's not, the air sacs are not supplementing some other Right, it's not, it's not a buoyancy assist. It's really, no, no, no. It's supplementing. It's supplementing because we see at the beginning this thing can fly on its own. No, no. So, so wait, wait. here's downward. You're seeing this jet wash? Yeah. So it has some downward thrust underneath it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it reaches it's out with its grabby boys. Yeah. And blows up the balloons. But I, I have to assume that these jets are off now. Yeah. Because if the jets are pushing down so that it can lift this thing up, then now that force is being applied to this thing down to the to the crawler down, which right. means the net force for this thing is zero, which means it shouldn't lift. That's right. You just increase the tension in the cables. Right, which you don't want to do. So that, that just, just that doesn't central, do anything. That central thruster has to be turned off. Which means we should be flying only off of buoyancy. Which is just, just, just not enough. I, I just I just not I'm not seeing that there's enough there. How could we make it work? So there's, in, there's insufficient buoyancy currently, but it's say it's supplementing some thrust we're not seeing. Is there a hole in the center of the the crawler? No, there's not. There's no, no hole. No, the solid, the solid up there. You're, you're saying I, if the gas could go through the middle, through the middle, then we would also see a bunch of wash out here from the sand. That's right. We don't. Yeah, and we see the wash disappear as it hovers over the crawler because it's the blown off all the cut. sand. Or it's blown off. Or, 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 yeah, yeah. The engine's been cut. I don't know how this thing I don't works. know. I don't know. So if we keep going, I think we see it like floating and taking the crawler to the spice mining location. I do like how it's super gentle on this thing. It's, no shock, yes. shock to all these components in there. Yeah. That's good. But I don't see how this could work. So those balloons look large, but they look they don't look that large. I mean, they the crawler is very large compared to the to the size of the balloons. I would expect the balloon to be absolutely just huge holding this thing up. Cuz it's got to displace so much air. Plus it's not even a vacuum inside, right? It's filled with something like helium to keep it. Yeah. So 
you don't it's actually not the entire volume you're displacing it's the difference difference between the densities mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you get it's not just the volume it's it's got even bigger because it's not a vacuum right not seeing it not seeing it looks too small not seeing it doesn't seem right cool idea yeah cool idea though